Hello everyone, my name is Comet and today I have for you a very special episode of Clash of Clans because in the previous episode I finally managed to get into the Bronze League however, as soon as I did my attack I got completely destroyed by Clan Castle troops so let me do a bit of a recap so this is our base, you know, this is my base that I've been um, building so far this is something that I started from scratch here on the channel and I am at Town Hall level 3. I did an attack however so that I can get more resources to keep upgrading my base but the base that I attacked that person had this. This is a clan castle and in the clan castle you can store troops from uh, your clan mates. And these troops are usually much stronger than, than your own town hall level. This means that my poor level 1 giants had to face a, a level 4 wizard, for example. And they got completely destroyed. Um, so today, I have done something. In this episode, I have brought my own clan castle troops. And you guys are gonna see that they are very powerful. So let's just go straight into the matchmaking so that we can see everything. And I wanna find this time a very big, like a base with as many resources as possible because I trust my clan castle that much. Oof! And this one looks so good. Now, how can I attack this? This looks fantastic. Hmm. Let's see, if I send them here, will they be able to destroy the wall in time before they die? I think they do. Yes. Okay, so you see how they're taking a lot of damage. Well, look at this. Here comes the baby dragon. <laughs> look at that. Structures are dying like no time. And I'm gonna release my barbarians right here. Oh, that's an issue. The anti air. But it's okay, the baby dragon is doing its job. <laughs> Look at the baby dragon, how much it destroyed. Like, literally a third of the entire base just by itself. But this is really good, because with the baby dragon, I managed to um, destroy this entire side. You know, this entire side of the base. This means that the barbarians and the giants can focus on destroying simply this side. And just like that, look, I completely filled my, my storages. This is amazing. Oh, this is fucking justice, man. I got destroyed in the previous episode and I was like, I'm really mad. I'm gonna send myself some troops. Because I do have higher level um, town halls you know, in other accounts. I have many accounts, actually. I really enjoyed this game. Um, so I was like, I'm gonna send myself something very powerful. And just like this, look. We even have so much resources left. Oh no, they're going to destroy the walls. Instead of going around. But I guess this is the fastest way to get here. I wonder, are they gonna be able to destroy everything? Oh, they do have one hidden structure right here on the south. So it might not be a three star, but I got all of the resources. Which is the only thing that matters at the moment. I might even my storage was not enough. I need to start upgrading my storage. Because this base had a lot more resources than... than what I could really store. Which is okay. I wonder, am I gonna be able to finish this in time? I think I will be. Yeah, I think I, I will be. This is really nice. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect! One second left, but we did it. Look at that. 
Look how many resources we got. Holy moly. I managed to fill the entire bars. Look, everything is full. Full, full, full. This is the dream. Let's go, baby. This is what I like to see. And what I'm going to do, actually, now that we have so many resources. Can I can I upgrade again my clan castle? No. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to send myself another baby dragon. In fact, let me send myself here. There we go. What I'm gonna do with this, um, problem is that now that everything is full, <laughs> I would like some of this stuff to finish first. Holy shit! But I got my revenge. I feel so satisfied now. <laughs> but now you see how strong the troops are. Holy shit! This is amazing, and this is how you can also um, uh, climb harder if you're stuck in the lower town hall levels. Just send yourself, or find, get into a clan, and send yourself troops because they're so powerful. Like, and the baby dragon is just one of the troops that you can send yourself as you level up in town halls. You're gonna be able to send yourself a, a full dragon or, or an electro dragon or. or very strong stuff like that. An Electro Titan, for example, once you get into Town Hall 10 as well. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be really nice. And we managed to get so many levels over here. This is awesome. And what I would like to do now, now that we have so many resources, let me see something. Can I start upgrading this? Look, level 3 walls. They're so expensive, man. And then I'm gonna also start removing these trees. Because from these trees, what you can get is gems. And I'm thinking that I might be able to get enough gems um, to buy this, you know, another builder. Because the builder, what it does is that it can upgrade or construct new buildings. Uh, however, you can only do one action per builder. And since we only have two builders, I only have two builders right here. I can only do two stuff at the same time. So let me see. Let me remove all of these trunks. That way we can start uh, grinding towards 500 gems. And I wonder, is there any challenge right here that gives me a lot of... Mm, of gems because I think I'm not really yeah I think not really mm. that's kind of annoying so it's going to be a true grind to get into these levels so let me just use them I'll try to slowly but surely try uh, get into the 500 mark I might get into 400 by removing these trees right here This is a good way to burn through your elixir if you have too much. Which at the moment we have a lot because nothing is available to be built. The laboratory is busy and the barracks is also busy at the moment. Oh, but we managed to get an achievement. That's really nice. So let's keep removing this. I'm running out of elixir again. Which is good so that we can go and collect more. In the meanwhile, though, let me train more of these troops. Train. This is nice. Now, you can also remove the um, stones right here. But be careful. Because the trees, will, the trees right here will grow again. But the rocks will be destroyed forever. So if you're one of these people... Who enjoy complete like if you're a completionist or people who just enjoy having all of the things possible, then don't destroy the stones. I haven't decided yet if I will keep the stones, but what I have decided is that I want to start upgrading or keep upgrading my walls right here. And then keep Removing the trees because I might get, be able to get into 400 today and that's gonna be really good for the future 
Come on. This may give me two or three gems, possibly. No gems, brah. I'm running out of elixir now. Okay, nice. Only two more gems for for for, uh, for four hundred. Bra, one more gem. <laughs> No. Ah, and by the way, um, there is a way to move these stones. Um, you will need um, a shovel that you can get in the few, in the higher tunnels. And now, boom! You, you, just like that, four hundred and one gems. That's nice. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and do another attack. And let's see if we can get another of the big, big bases, like twenty thousand or more, will be awesome. That way we can we can say that it was a very productive day. Let's see, twenty thousand or more. If we can get one of those forty thousand, that would be amazing. Oh, this is really nice. Oh baby, uh, I'm gonna send the giants to the mortar to do so much damage. And the baby dragon right here. <laughs> Look at the baby dragon doing so much damage, it's insane. Hopefully the baby dragon goes into the archer tower. Yes! I don't even need the barbarians anymore. Just in case I'm gonna use them. I think the baby dragon can kill the entire base by itself. Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> it's so strong, man. This is insane. <laughs> look at that! Look at this! The baby is just amazing. Now, we did not destroy this base um, because of the da baby dragon being so powerful, but rather because the baby dragon is a troop that you can only get on much higher town halls. But because we send it to our clan castle, we can have this troop. Now, there is a limit of the troops that you can have, on the troops that you can have. But like you guys can see, even one of them. It's just insane. This is this is just next level. I don't know what to think about it. It's too powerful. There's no counter to this at this town hall level. And just like that, look at this. Half of our storage is full. <laughs> now, obviously, since this is so powerful, there is a limit amount of um, things that you can ask for. So, for example, um, you can only ask, if I remember correctly, for the baby dragon every 15 minutes. In my clan, I have higher levels, so I, I can ask, I think, every 10 minutes. Yeah, only every, one every 10 minutes. And if you have a higher level clan, uh, you can ask, I think, one every five minutes, maybe, something like that. Not too sure on that, but we can test over here on the clan perks. Uh, no, one once every ten minutes is the max that you can get. And each clan, uh, each clan castle also has a limited amount of troops. So you can only receive... 10 capacity, like 10 spots worth of troops, and the baby dragon is 10. But as you level up your town hall, you're gonna receive um, an increase of your capacity. And the maximum capacity that you can have is 50 at town hall 15, which is the highest town hall level. <laughs> but this is insane. Holy shit. Like, wow. 
It's still next to set available. No, not yet. But that was insane. I think. Oh, let's do an experiment. Let's see how we can get by with just a baby dragon itself. Now, let me go back over here. I'm gonna send myself now a ba another baby dragon and this time let's try to see how much we can do with just one baby dragon that's gonna be a really nice test there we go and this is level one baby dragon too so oh no let's go and attack only one baby dragon let's see how much we can do but let's go with the higher tunnels yes so that we can and uh, get more resources as well. Oh, this one looks juicy. <clears throat> 2020 is what I would like, you know, a bit of both elixir and gold. Let's see if we can find one of those bases. 8-8 eight, eight might be too little. 4-4 four, four is definitely too little. Oh, this is nice. Okay, here. Mm. There's a problem here because it does have air defenses. If we have to destroy the air defenses first. Nice. Because the air defense does have a lot of damage. But I think it should be able to destroy everything by itself. Perfect. I needed him to go into the... Um, nah, it went into the town hall. It ne what it needs to do is it needs to destroy the archer towers. Because the archer towers can damage it. And I think it's gonna pass straight into this one. Nice. One archer tower down. <laughs> Look. This is one troop! A higher level troop, of course. But it's just one. This is insane. <laughs> now, there are other troops that I could send myself. Um, but I think the baby dragon might be the strongest troop for this town hall level. At least that's what I think. This is insane. <laughs> I don't know if the baby dragon will survive this archer tower, but it already did his job. Like, come on, this is amazing. This is the time of truth. Will you survive the archer tower? Problem is that these things do so, they are so tanky. No, I think it might die. No. You need to attack. One attack, one attack, one attack. No! <laughs> it did not survive. But it's okay. I just send the rest of the troops. It, the problem is that this base did have air defenses, you know? And that is because the, it was in Town Hall 4. I am only in Town Hall 3. But we managed to do it. That's a pretty strong troop, man. That that's insane, actually. <laughs> Let me get now. He's done. Three. Yeah, this is nice. Oops. Perfect. Whew. That was really nice. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like we We now know the true power of the clan castle troops. And um, but we must not abuse this because um 
and this is something that a lot of people fail to understand, is that if you rely too much on the clan castle troops, you will not be able to do much with your main army once you do not have these clan castle troops. In fact, I've had people who come into my clan and they ask for troops. Give me troops, give me troops, give me troops. Every 15 minutes. And when I say no, try to attack without your troops, then they fail their attacks, you know, because they are so bad um, with their normal army as they have been relying so much on them, or on the clan castle troops, so, sorry, that they are unable to get anything without them, you know. Like, they rely so much on the clan castle troops that they cannot do anything without them, and that is bad. Because you will not always have clan castle troops, you know. So only use clan castle troops as a way to um, secure three stars. If you are not sure that your main army can do this. Or make a second account. And, and this is something that if you are one of those people who uh, we call them. No, just don't, just don't be a, a donation leech. You know, a donation leech is someone who comes and who ask for donations of clan castle troops every 15 minutes. If you want to rely on clan castle troops for every single one of your accounts, sorry, for every single one of your uh, attacks, then make a second account specifically to donate yourself troops. And this is what I have personally done, you know, because in my clan, I'm the highest level of the clan. So what I did is, I made a second account to gift myself troops at all times. Because um, I don't want to go into someone else and say, Hey, give me troops, give me troops. Because that is gems that it costs you to send troop or time that it costs you to train the troop for free. Um, but it might be for free, but it may take, let's say, five minutes, you know. And those are five minutes that you take off the the other person. And imagine if you do that four times per hour. That's already 20 minutes that you take away from that person. That's just, it's, it's pretty stupid. Don't be a donation leech. If you want to rely on troops, make yourself a second account so that you can gift yourself troops, you know? You will be much stronger that way. Whew. I'm so let me show you actually. Uh, no, I think I cannot show you. Um, another thing that um, the clan castle can do is store resources. You know, the, these are extra resources you get from clan wars or from the bonus from your attacks, which you get star bonuses um, once per day. But um, aside from that. Um, clan castle troops are definitely worth having. You should not really rely as much on them, but if you want to rely on them, on the lower levels, make yourself a second account. On the higher levels, it's going to be easier to get clan castle troops because you will be able to buy them buy them by yourself with the raid weekend. Um, that's why it's just part of the army on the higher levels. You don't need to ask for donations. But on the lower levels, you do. So just don't be a, a donation leech. Make yourself a second account. Um, for me, well, I have, I have, I think I have seven accounts at the moment. Or, or nine accounts at the moment. So I, I can just keep sending me over and over and over troops. That's why I make them in the first place. Um, on top of being able to experience different town halls and help my own clan mates. Uh, but yeah, uh, for now though, I hope you guys enjoyed the display of how powerful the troops are. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Comet and I am signing out. Peace.